tundra. Feels great to be in Antarctica. <laughs> feels great to be in Antarctica. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> She's going down. Yep. Guys, <laughs> 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 we made it and we can't get in. <laughs> get up. Let the door, let me in, Gabby! <laughs> Crawl! You should have more gloves! Watch your head! Come on! Watch the ground. Gabby, let us in. Yeah, thank you very much for that. Oh, it's warmer in here. Wait, leave it open for her. Leave it open for Gabby. Good morning, guys. As you can see, life on the day-by-day -day farm is still a it's massive warm in here, though. struggle. Yeah, thank God for horses. <laughs> Sophie arrives. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it either. My toes is gonna break. Oh, yeah, I'm already frozen. I fell. <laughs> it was really it's worse yes. today, you guys. Uh, yesterday it was like ice, and you could see where the ice was, and you could try and avoid it and try and be safe. Hmm. And then today. Yeah, it's gonna be cold because of her. Okay, close it. I'm coming back in. Then today, if there's like a fine mist of snow, it's supposed to snow all day. And it's covering the ice, and so you can't really even see it, and it's making it like way more slippery. It's like ice, ice on top of ice today. I was just walking, and then boom, I was on the ground. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. It hurt. My toe got it's snow in it, in and yeah, now it's, it's not that bad. Die. I mean, it's bad in here. Like, no, I meant cold wise. Yeah, it's not that cold, but I'm frozen now. Anyway, the there, our horses can't go out again. Sam is having a fit. Makes things so much harder for you when the horses have to stay in. Like, so much harder. And he does the nighttime chores, so... He definitely isn't in love with the whole process. But, you gotta do what you gotta do, guys. Look. Snow even inside. The barn. And today, the farrier is coming. So pray, pray that I can drive in this. They are lucky. Well, who's lucky? Close the door. The pony. Yeah, let's close the door. Come on, it's Close. warm in here where they're breathing. All right, we need to get the wheelbarrows in here. And I know this one's not one. I get it for a tire. All right, Gabby, bring the big one. She didn't even dump any of them yesterday. Well, so she'll dump. dump them All right, it's her turn. But anyway, it's warmer in I here. Again, Definitely warmer. Let's see what the temperature is. Close the door really fast. Uh, it's plus four. Plus four, our ponies are staying in again. Like, executive decision, you guys. This is what happens when you live in a cold climate. Sometimes they have to stay in. Our boys, I feel bad for them. We're gonna see them today, but where their paddock is, it was really good. It's hardly any ice in there, just on the roadways and stuff. Hurry up! Go get our bucket. Go get our wheelbarrow. You have to go get our wheelbarrow. We can all share. She can drop them three times. It's little and it's half frozen full of stuff. Gotta get the big one. Go. 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 You can do it. You can do it. Stay here, doggies. We should lock her out. Yeah, let's watch her. Because it's going to be funny.
Wow, you're amazing. We need more little buckets like this. This one, we need a new one. We need a new one like this because it fits inside the stall. This one, Gabby and I have to share. This one goes inside too. Well, don't take it in because I have to do mine too. You guys are waiting for me. You can't just rush. You know, when you are a family working together for your horses and keeping them clean and doing all their care. And taking the falls. And taking the falls. It's like a party being with horses. I can't imagine what it would be like if you were all alone. You know what's really weird? Is that Penny just stands here while I clean her stall. She doesn't even move. She stands there peacefully and quietly. Like, I feel like she trusts me and she believes in me. Penny knows that we're not gonna treat her unfairly and I think that's a, such an important thing. And I feel like it has to be like that with kids too. That ultimately they trust that you're gonna keep them safe and you're gonna do the right choices for them. And I think that it goes a long way in helping kids resist being drawn into stuff because they believe that they'll always be kept safe. Like, I think it's just an amazing thing. When your horse likes to chew her hay and drink water at the same time in winter, <laughs> it's ice. This is what you have to do. All right, I'm waiting for the kids. We are getting ready to go to the barn. We have the farrier today. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get out of where I am parked because as I was skating to the car, I noticed that it's sitting on a huge patch of ice, like massive patch of ice. It's insane, you guys. Absolutely bonkers here. I don't remember the last time it's been like this. When we got here, they were in the shelter. They couldn't see us. They heard my voice and poof, they just came running right out. I swear to God, Finn looks taller. We'll be back. I always check and make sure that they have enough grain uh -oh. for a few more days. And there's one, two, three. So we'll have to come back on the weekend with all of our bags that we use. All right, it's icy, so be careful. All right. Things you do for horses. I told... Uh, Sophie to wait in the car because oh I hear somebody somebody neighing oh look who it is hi <laughs> oh no do we have an extra blanket here we were gonna have to do that don't worry handsome <laughs> we'll get you a new blanket we did it if you guys want to get a good look at this nice warm blanket he's got double blankets on oh my gosh look at that it is a blanket full of snow. <laughs> it's a snow catcher. All right, well, we'll take that off you and see what we have here. Woo. We'll take it off and see what we have here. So I told Sophie to stay in the car and wait for me to help Gabby because I don't want them doing anything with the horses with the ice until I can help them. That's adorable. Oh, They're like, oh, thank God you're here. You missed a whole day. You ready? I got yours, I got yours. Holy moly. <sighs> We did it, but they're all spooky. Wait. Oh no. That. Uh, hold on, I gotta get the door closed. It's ice everywhere. He was trying to lay down. Yeah, they're like, oh, I know what to do. Look at, look at. Oh. So it was actually not too bad walking here. I was scared. Oh my gosh, we need your neck back on. Oh yeah, it feels good. He's like, please. Whoa, Chico, you're way too powerful. Hold on, oh, Chino. Okay, Chino is actually acting bonkers. <laughs> this is horrible. <sighs> this is like, wait, whoa. Good boy. Wow, what a good boy. That horse tried to roll on me. All right, we have to figure this all out. We gotta find another... Uh oh, don't do that. Don't dig. So, don't eat that. Don't eat the chain. Uh, Chino. Don't do that. Look at it. 
You'll get me in trouble. So we were walking, all, we were just all quietly, beautifully walking our horses around to calm them down. And then Nathan spooked. I'm getting the heck out of here. I'm not joking. Getting out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I got the music playing loud. How you like my outfit? I have to say I'm kinda proud. I got my dancing shoes on, and I'm feeling dangerous. Let's get this party started. Yeah, we gon' be adventurous. We went to the club like we always do. This girl caught my eye, said, How do you do? She said, I am not interested, thank you. Then she left the room. Bartender. I'll have the usual, give me the usual, I'll take the usual, oh, I'll have the usual, give me the usual. Why, horses? Why? There's no place to sit down. There's no place to hide. Move over, sister. You have to go <laughs> all the way back there because you cannot stand in the middle. Uh, all right. <laughs> so being her taking the high road. I mean, they're good boys, but they're just really frisky. Hey, Ben. <laughs> they're such, hey, they stop you for look at they're all them. like, hey. They're all like similar personalities. How we're getting them back on the lead ropes again, I do not know. Give me the usual. I'll take the usual. Like she knows that are gonna hey hey calm down whoa whoa Mom, whoa our horses, our horses don't go to that <sighs> yes they do no they don't they won't listen to that mom so it's icy <laughs> Brandon has been like pulling ice out of here like crazy yeah, <laughs> I feel Sophie over here moving and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna... right here. I'm just gonna run out the front door. I know because they, he wants to, he wants his girl. He wants to go. He, he wants, wants to you. Leave. Yeah. Gino. Ben hides behind people. I don't even know things. how we're gonna do our farrier, to be honest. Well, mine's being the calmest. Yeah, yours is such a pretty boy. Except for all that dirt on him. He's like, I'm coming over here, mother. Shall I come? Shall I come? Shall I get away from them? Yeah, get away from them. They're the ones that need to figure it out. I need to go find a new blanket for Grafim. Aww. I, I like them, like, kind of playing. He's coming to run home hide. Yeah. It's okay, Finny. You can come. Oh, the other two are getting frisky. No, no. No. Is one holding the other one? Hey! Chino was holding Grayson's halter. Yeah. He was just because, away. because Chino likes to bite things. Get away from his back end, Chino. That's not safe. Chino's stupid. You're like, oh, hi, Finn. So, some people have been asking me, are we going to put them in the same field? We are, but not in the middle of an ice storm. Because, oh, because of if this. This happens outside, yeah. and, um, we're dead. Or they're dead. We don't want that to happen. He's trying to leave him. Gabby, get your horse. Hey. No, hey. So we left their halters on because we're watching them and because we're going to just be taking them out in a second. And because my pony runs away from me. That's why he never gets hurt. So are you actually going to ride Chino, Gabby? Yeah. I, let's go. I'll go see if you can get your tack. Do you have tack in your lot in our car? Oh my gosh, Chino. He has an itchy head. Go and grab some air now. I try to pick myself up, nothing's wrong with me yet, but maybe this bow tie was too much. I just have to be cool, looking like I'm Clint Eastwood, ain't the bad or ugly, my mama said that I'm the good. We went to the club like we always do, this girl caught my eye, said how do you do? She said I am not interested, thank you, then she left the room, bartender. Uh 
Oh, cat. Oh, hello, well, you kitty. You don't want to be in here, cat. Yeah, don't go in there today, kitty. Chino's gonna roll and get up and bowl. So we're gonna get Chino done first, and maybe what we'll do is we can we leave. Well, we'll do Chino. Oh, yeah, no. Chino can't go first. Why? Uh -oh. Because Chino has shoes and takes forever. Uh -oh. Somebody's laying down. So we have this blanket that we're gonna put on gray fin when we move them to our to our field because I'm pretty sure it won't get ripped. Well, actually, with the way they play, who knows? But I also have this one here. That's the only one I had. Big shout out to the guy who bought us these amazing blankets that we love so much because they enabled us to have an extra blanket. What? Yeah, on the yeah, they enabled us to have an extra blanket today for Grayfin. Thank goodness. All right, I'm gonna grab my pony. So we're gonna put that on Grayfin. He has this other one. We might. Sophia, I'm gonna need you to hold this guy. Uh, Mom's gonna have to do that. Mom's busy with the farrier. The farrier's not here. Yeah, the farrier's here. Here, bring him here, and I'll hold the thing. I can multitask. Yes, that's the blanket you're gonna wear. I hope you like it, don't wreck it. Or maybe you could take that one home and fix it. One of the most amazing things about this boy is that he will fit anywhere. Like, he'll just go with anybody. You'll leave him with anybody and he's good. All right, be nice. <laughs> Grayfin's like, oh, I'll be the boss of him then. Grayfin's turn. These two are done. Yeah, you can leave them in here and go sit in the heated room because it's so cold. We can also see from the heated room. Yeah, all right, I'll try and close, yeah. <laughs> two horses down, last one going, and Sophie and I are in the heated room warming up. Oh. They're just standing at the door. They're like, come, take us out. They only just want to be with us. <laughs> Enjoy the warmth. I always feel so good to get their feet done because I always like, I'm one of those people who panic and worry about stuff. I worry about everything, so. Like, as soon as their feet start to get, and I also notice everything is from being in nursing for so long. When you work in, in nursing, it teaches you honestly, like, how to notice everything and be super observant. And I do, I notice everything. And when their feet start to get, like, a little bit too long, I start to worry and stress about it because I read so much. And even though, like, they can handle five or six weeks without a tram, I start to, like, I don't know, I start to feel so uneasy and then I always feel so happy when the barrier comes. So we are done at the barn. Whew. Thank God because it has been so cold. Everybody's had turns in the warm room except for me. Hey, you sat in there for a couple seconds. Seconds. Anyway, minutes. We're ready to go, and it turns out that our farrier also used to be Finn's farrier for a long time, and he's the one that did like everything with his feet, and he knows Finn, and uh, I'm excited for him to like keep to keep doing his feet. All right. Goodbye, Gray Finn. We'll see you later. We didn't end up riding today, even though the girls have been dying to ride because it's just been too cold. It's just too cold to have a pony, a baby, a foal right beside me, not my foal, or I'd show you guys because it's adorable. Anyways, we decided not to ride. That's all right, we'll be back. Whoa, whoa, this has a, ooh. Oh, not for you. <laughs> oh, the little foal thinks it can just pop through. Don't you know that you're beautiful?